Hello and welcome back to Crucial Tech. I'm your host CJ and today we'll be reviewing the Techno Spark 5 Pro and in this video we are going to get to know what this phone has to offer. So let's roll the intro and see you on the other side. So the Techno Spark 5 Pro is a low budget device and it's a good phone for someone who needs a general phone for normal day-to-day -day usage but for people who are looking for high-end device or devices for multitasking gaming and other high demanding tasks on their phone this is not a phone to look for in that area however for general calls general social media and just texting and other things it's a good phone the techno spark 5 pro is powered by the mediatek helio a25 chip an octa core cpu with four high performance cores and four high efficiency cores it is 6.5 inches tall 3 inches wide and 8.8 millimeters thick. It has a 6.6 .6 inches 720 IPS LCD panel with a punch hole camera design, giving it a screen to body ratio of 83.7% and 266 pixels per inch. At the back, we have a quad camera setup with a 16 megapixel main camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera, a 2 megapixel depth sensor, and a QVGA sensor. On the front, we have a single 8 megapixel selfie camera. For storage, you have three options, either the 64GB paired with 3GB RAM, 64GB paired with 4GB RAM, or 128GB paired with 4GB RAM. It is running Android 10 with high OS version 6.1. So the design of the Techno Spark 5 Pro has nothing amazing. It has a simple plastic design and there is no way that they have tried to hide the plastic design. Thanks to this, you do not have a fingerprint magnet at the back. You don't have to keep on wiping the device as you saw on the other phones like the Techno Camon 16 Pro. It also has a few color choices to choose from, namely the Spark Orange, Ice Jedite, Seabed Blue, and the Cloud White. On the back, we have a quad camera setup with a less protruding camera bump and a fingerprint reader at the back. Also, we have a few Techno branding here and there, but it is nothing too extreme. On the right side, we have the volume rockers up and down and the power button with an orange accent on it, which gives it a cool touch. On the bottom side, we have the micro USB charging port, a bottom firing speaker and a headphone jack. It is nice of Techno to still have the headphone jack on this device, as we all know that many devices these days do not have the headphone jack and many people still have wired earphones and the wired headphones. So this is a plus on the Techno side of things. On the left, we have the SIM tray, which has the provision for two SIM cards and also a memory card. So for those who need to expand their memory here, you have the option to add a memory card. At the top, it's clean and there's nothing much to talk about here. On the front, we have the punch hole camera for the selfie. The camera is positioned on the side. This is less intrusive to your media consumption on the device. The display on this device is a 6.6 .6 inches 720p panel, which is such a low resolution for a 2020 device. The worst thing with this decision is that you'll be able to shoot 1080p footages from this camera on this device, but you can only view 720p on this panel. On Techno's side, this was the worst decision. If you are someone who has experienced 1080p and above on this 720p panel, you will notice. But as I said earlier, this is a device for someone who needs a general day-to-day -day usage form and in that case you will not be disappointed in 2020 a 6.5 inches device is considered a normal size category for those with small hands you might have to use both hands while handling this device but people with big hands you can use one hand in handling this device and not have a problem as mentioned earlier the techno spark 5 pro is running android 10 with high os version 6 skin on top of it we've talked about high os and its feature on the other videos you can check the link up above the performance of the device is somewhat at par with the price of the device as i mentioned earlier this is a device for general usage normal calls text and social media but for power users gamers and other people who need high performance devices this is certainly not the device for that however during my testing i tried a few games and it was not that bad but for high frame rates games you might see a drop in frames here and there the one area that you will not have a problem with this device is the battery life we have a 5000 milliampere battery packed in this device and based on the fact that this device is only running a 720p panel and it has lower budget chip the battery life can easily last you two days 
if you're a light user and if you're a heavy user you can easily last a whole day the only downside is that you're getting a charger that is just 10 watts and does not support fast charging now for the camera we have an array of four cameras at the back i am not a photographer and i just did a point and shoot the photos that i'll be showing you so due to the fact that this device is running a low and cheap during my test i came to realize that sometime when you're taking pictures after pressing the shutter button the phone lags before capturing the picture so to be able to get good pictures and less noisy pictures you have to hold this device steady after hitting the capture button shots taken on this device on a normal well lit day looks good and can be used on social media and other places however once the lighting conditions start to dip also the quality of the photos start to dip and therefore if you want quality pictures from this device always ensure that you are in a well-lit environment the selfie camera on the device also suffers the same predicament as the cameras on the back only in well-lit environment does it manage to get you good looking photos in terms of video the device can take up to 1080p on either the back or the front cameras however none of the two cameras has EIS or OIS. This means that you have to be very stable while taking videos on this device or use a tripod or a gimbal to get 30 shots on this device. For the price of the device, which is usually the most important thing for everyone, can you afford it? So as you might have guessed earlier, the device is on a low budget category. The device costs around 16,000 Kenyan shillings for the 128 GB model. This is around 149 US dollars. It might be cheaper, it might be more expensive depending on your market, but generally it's a good low budget device and I can recommend to anyone who needs a device in this price range. So that was my general review of the Techno Spark 5. Comment down below on what you think about the device. If you are new to this channel, subscribe to this channel. If you like the video, hit the like button and if you loved the video, share it with your friends and family. Let them know about Crucial Tech and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.